All right, crew members, welcome back. So today, y'all, we're going to be making some more of those uh, chili cheese sausage dogs that we made a little while back. It was so good, we had to run that thing by y'all. So starting off making a really basic chili, y'all, here. Just um, got some 93% lean ground beef that I browned up and drained the fat off of, which wasn't much. And then I added in some smoked paprika, some chili powder, and I have some mix uh from uh, chili mix from mccormick not a lot of that just a little bit and then i'm going to go in with some porcelain and i'm going to add some um no salt tonies in there along with some chives and some ketchup y'all and then i'm going to add also some um some cumin in there and um just going to give this a good mix along with some uh beef bouillon from better than bouillon brand not a lot i don't want it to be too salty and then I'm going to add in a little bit of hot water. Not too much because I don't want it to be too loose either, y'all. This is just going to make me a real basic chili. You can go in with like um, regular, um, like a yellow onion. You can brown that up with your beef. I just didn't have one, so this is what I did. And I'm um, just going to taste it. I ended up adding in a little bit more onion powder, some um, some more ketchup, and then I let it simmer uh, until it was a consistency that I like. Real basic everyday chili. And then I'm going to go in with my uh, sausage, y'all. I'm using the turkey sausage from Hillshire Farm. And uh, I'm going to go in with a pan that has a little bit of oil and water in there. And I'm going to go ahead and split it with a knife just because um, doing it this way, if I go ahead and split them, they're gonna uh they're gonna end up going straight and make it easy to put in my bun. So I'm just gonna let these go on the stove for a little while. Uh, this method uh, just always makes the sausages uh, really juicy. And um, at the end, you can still have a nice uh, sear on them. So I just leave them on the stove until uh, the water starts to kind of go down and evaporate and they kind of swell up a little bit. And then now you can see what I was saying, where they're gonna eventually start to go straight one, because I put that cut in them. And um, even if you don't, that whole horseshoe will eventually go straight. You can still cut it. And um, so I'm just going to shake it. It's all the water evaporate out. I don't pour anything out of the pan. Eventually, the water is going to evaporate out. And you're just going to be left with oil. And this is where you go ahead and just roll the sausages around until the skin begins to crack and blister and brown. And um, give you some nice color on the outside. And uh, that's flavor, y'all. All right. So then once that's done, I'm going to have my buns over in my dish. And I'm gonna um, start to uh, build my chili cheese sausages, y'all. So I'm just gonna put um, each one of those links into uh, a bun, like so. Then I'm gonna go, <clears throat> excuse me, in with some of this uh, cheddar cheese mix. This is a three cheese, three cheddar cheese mix. It's the uh, creamy melt blend from Kraft, just in case you're wondering. Um, I'm gonna start off with a good, strong base layer of this cheese. Uh, this is chili cheese, so I mean, yeah, if we don't like cheese, this is not the recipe for you. And then I'm gonna go in with some of that good old chili. Y'all see how that chili turned out? See how it's just, just not too thick, not too thin. Got a nice little sheen to it, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Very delicious, y'all. It's so good. And then I'm gonna um, just get going with a decent amount of that. Just don't wanna overload them because I don't want it to be too much. Then I'm gonna taste some more of that cheese. Now, this is where I'm kind of light-handed on the cheese because you already got some on there, but you still need more because it's a chili cheese dog, you know what I'm saying? And then once that's done, we're gonna taste some more cheese. Now, this is a little cheese sauce. Now, I'm not gonna put too much on there. If this is what you want, you can um, you can add as much or as little as you like, um, but I'm just putting some on there just to give. It's just gonna make that uh, the shredded cheese more of like a, like a ooey gooey type thing. Then I'm gonna um, some green onions. I know a lot of people like white onions. If that's you, use white onions. And then I, me, like jalapenos. My wife does not like jalapenos. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more cheese and then I'm gonna add some jalapenos on my side, on my dog, because I like the jalapenos. Um, she's not a big fan of them, so eat them. Y'all know. If y'all if y'all if y'all have said the cannabis thing, y'all already know how she get down with those with those pebbles. So put them on my side. Yeah. Like that, like that. Add a little bit more cheese, a little bit more uh, green onion. Then I'm gonna pop them in the oven on 350 for about uh 15 minutes or so. And uh boom. Finished product, y'all already know. Y'all already know it was fine. Y'all already know it was good. All right, y'all. We see you in the month. A friend who works at the Department of Motor Vehicles gives you a handicapped parking pass so that you can get better parking spaces. You do not have a disability. <laughs> Would you use it? I wouldn't use it all the time. 
Uh, my aunt, my great aunt said, everybody got a disability. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. Wait, hashtag. 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 hashtag the kittens. CCTV. Hi, crew members, welcome back to our eating show. Chef. Today, guys, we're back with another mukbang. Danielle, tell them what we're eating today, girl. Yeah, today we got some chili cheese sausage dogs. AJ's has jalapenos on it. Yeah. It's regular. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, y'all saw how I made it a little chili cheese. A couple different types of cheese. We got some um, green onions on there. Y'all, if this is your very first time on this channel, thank y'all for being here. We ask that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. After that, make sure you hit that notification bell, set your notifications to all, so you can notify every single time again and drop some heat. Oh, yeah. And remember, 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 hit that like button, y'all. Remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the Canada on the road to 150,000. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're returning. Welcome back, y'all. We're going to go ahead and praise and we're going to get in this delicious food. Oh, God, name Jesus. We thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord, we ask that you bless it. Lord, we ask that there be no shot by this. And bless those who are less fortunate. All this is we ask in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, duh. Y'all already know. Mm -mm. We on that water. Yes, I love me some water, water. Hope you got your stew. We on that water. <laughs> Pour it in there. We on that water. Got chips. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm fitting a mix. What's in here? A <laughs> party pack. Mm -hmm. Maybe crumbly chips. Like it was 40. <laughs> As a cut down on the noise, I can't put my mouth. <laughs> oh, baby. Ah. I'll show it to you. We got too much mustard in this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we got so much mustard. It's crazy. And we don't even eat mustard like that. No. Like it. I think it's just every time we go somewhere, we buy some. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Too busy. What's today? Monday. Well. Yeah. It's Monday, y'all. Hey, I believe January almost over. Hell no. No. <laughs> we got a week. I feel like we say that every month, but it really do be going by fast. For real? Mm -hmm. I felt like it was just Christmas. <laughs> Last year was the quickest year of my life. 
quick. Every time I see it. I've never had a year go by so mm -hmm. quick and feel like it. Especially like when memories show up in your phone, you feel like that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These cheddar and sour creams, the regular ones that be so good. No, I don't know. They're best. I didn't even know they was good. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, check on the regular ones. You took on the days, baby. No, them the ones I'm talking about. I mean, like the... the oh, ruffle. the rudge, uh, the ruffle. Ruffle. It's the texture of the chip. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat raw onions on your like hot dogs and stuff, or you ain't gadget? I've done it, but <laughs> I'm not. That's not me. Mm -hmm. That's why I put green onions up here. Mm -hmm. Raw onions, smooth. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to like them more, mm -hmm. and I eat them on certain stuff, but. I ain't there yet. Mm. Some stuff I just don't. If I eat them on a, uh, like on a, a hot dog or something like that, mm -hmm. I gotta soak them. Mm. That bit is fine. Mm. That bit is fine. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm gonna get into our topic, but I'm munching. One moment. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. This video for y'all who like to see us eat. Uh, <laughs> I'm hungry, and this is hitting the spot. seafood boils and stuff. They always ask, and I've said this before, but I get the hillshire from uh, smoked sausage. That's what I get. This is a turkey one. I usually get beef. Mm. It's just good enough. Mm -hmm. Not a little different flavor to it, but not much. I ain't gonna be able to eat with half of this too. That these I ain't gonna be eating none of that. These are <laughs> large and in charge. Not large and in charge. Whew. All right, today. So good right now. So good right now. Uh-uh. <laughs> we are testing your morality. Hmm? Well, I'm gonna give you a scenario or answer choices, and you're gonna tell me which one you would pick. Okay. Your teenage son or daughter confesses to you that he or she killed someone mm. in a hit and run accident. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. You have the ability to create the perfect airtight alibi for him and her. Would you do it? Yes or no? That's tough right there. Uh-uh. Like, when you say I have the ability to create the perfect, like, are you saying that they're guaranteed going to get away with it, or your story just going to on paper check out? Like, what are we saying here? Well, an alibi is somebody who, you know. I know what an alibi it, is. But that's what it said, an airtight alibi. My point is, that's what I'm saying, like. Are we saying hypothetically like you're definitely going to get away with it? Like it's definitely going to cover them or on paper it's just it, you know, not really disputing it. 
make sense on paper. Yeah. I'm not sure, I mean, but mine would probably be enough just because if that was some if what if that was my child that got hit? Right. I wouldn't want, you know, I wouldn't want to and then what if the so called perfect alibi on paper or not, they come back and get me and then I'm an accessory. Right. The reason why I was because I mean like in general like in general, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. But we if I lie, first of all, that in, that that entangles me. Mm -hmm. We both go in jail. Right. And then second, I'm picking back off what you're saying. Like I can't, I can't just because it's you know I you did wrong. Right. And I'm not one of them people that like, you know. If it's depending on the situation, if nobody else is um, suffering from it, mm -hmm. you know, I might like if when it comes down to getting my people, you know, out of harm's way or whatever, then yeah. But I'm just like, at the end of the day, you make consequences. You shouldn't have left. Mm -mm. It's a hit and run. You shouldn't have left. And I'd be I like, baby, go turn yourself in. I mean, like, you don't have to right now because at the end of the day, you don't want to stack nothing against mm -mm. you. And I mean, it'd be it'd be difficult to say like let's say just like in a perfect world, like if you just knew you were gonna, like if you guaranteed to get away with it. I mean, but still, like I just feel like definitely I, I'm not about to lie. Mm -mm. I'm not about to lie for you. And then I hate it happen. Right. And then they have a lot of street cameras. You don't know who saw you really. Right. You might have thought nobody saw you. Then I'm over here saying you was with me and you won't. Right. No. Exactly. Mm -mm. All right. So the next one is, if you accidentally scratched someone's car, what would you do? Leave a note with my phone number. Leave a note only if the damage is significant. Get the heck out of there as fast as you can. I got to go. I already know because I, I know what I done did. I'm before. probably going to go. I'm going to go. When we say scratch. <laughs> If we're talking about a minor scratch, then I'm out of there. I'm just like... I mean, it's done, it'll happen. I mean, it don't make you know... I mean, hell, I done came out. When I got my um, my car, any car I done bought, new and excited about, I've, I've gotten dents and dents mm -hmm. that come out of nowhere. You know, I, I mean, like, if I mess somebody's car up, I ain't trying to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? If I hit it, I'm not going right, to Right, I'm not, yeah. That's but, different, but. But a scratch, I mean, even if. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. just like. I'm not about to wait around and be like, yeah, I'll scratch your car. But I'm going to tell you right now. And this, is, this is probably shitty of me, but it just uh -uh. It is what it is. <laughs> I was uh, at Walmart one day. We was out of town. We was, And it, that's what made it worse. We was out of town. And I pulled, I pulled into a parking space. There was a white Malibu parked beside me. I went to open the door. The wind was up so high that day, y'all. I'm kidding you not. I mean, people were struggling to walk. That's how high the wind up. But that wind snatched that door out of my hand so fast. But I caught it, but I didn't. I caught it because I felt like as hard as it snatched it, it should have dented the car. But it just, I caught it and it like it just put a drag, a drag mark in the white paint. It wasn't deep. But it was a big, like, it where it was on a door, if you didn't have it there before, you would notice it because it was not just a, a scratch like this. It was a scratch from, that was like this long. So it was like, and it had like little between it. So it was like, like so I was like, mm -mm. I said, mother <laughs> I got right back in the car and I went to the middle of the parking lot. As opposed to, as opposed to where I was at the, uh, at the right side of the parking lot, mm -hmm. I was I went and parked in the middle. Uh uh. Yeah, I'ma go. <coughs> like I said, if I hit it, no. I know no. that was gonna be mad, but I'm just like, baby, I'm out of town. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> and uh -oh. then, of course, you know the person's gonna be upset, regardless. I mean, they might not, but most people with their cars and stuff like that, they gonna be hot, and I just don't. Feel now, like had it had put a big old dent in the car. I would have probably, because I don't want nobody to do that to me, like for real, like mm -hmm. for real. But that scratch, that scratch paint like that is easily fixable. Like you go to the right people, they can fix that. And you know that, 
um the way it was, but yeah. So common piece of shit. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you use an illegal box to get free cable TV? When you say illegal box, like you saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody if just somebody came up to me, bro, you you want this box? <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah, I can play all the channels, all the games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who the who HBO? Ain't, who ain't had a uh, program fire stick? Who ain't had a jailbroke fire okay. stick before? Shoot. We had one. We ah. like, they all right now. Both of them ain't. They just do the regular. Yeah, ain't nothing. <laughs> they was. They did. To be honest, sometimes depending on how you jailbreak it, them little movies be fuzzy and making me mad. Just be That's like, just depending on what's up there. Mm -hmm. That's just depending on, you know, what's available. Mm -hmm. It's just like bootleg on before they had fire sticks. And whenever uh, people were selling bootlegs, mm -hmm. it was like, you know, <laughs> the theater version was out, then it was out. But otherwise, mm -hmm. you might, you gonna have the camera and somebody recorded this in the theater. When we was watching that Maxine's baby and he was talking about how all them people was bootlegging his plays, I thought about my family. Cause baby, one person would get one family would get one play. Like we would have a family reunion bootleg. Man, my aunt would have class reunion, the other aunt got this one, and we just switching them. Just here. <laughs> you watch this one yet? That's how it was. I said, oh God. Because before Piracy. <laughs> Before he started selling them on the website, I think you could only get them like at his shows. Mm -hmm. And so, like, man, people <laughs> once that once that once somebody got a hold of the copy of the uh, the play, they they made barbershop passing them out. We we had all man, back we, of the trunk when he said something about it. I said, oh. My family, I was watching them. Everybody play. had that. Yeah. Everybody had them. Play. I couldn't wait either. Where's the next one? Are they done yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I had the uh, I had a disc with like six of them on there. <laughs> right. Yep. It was like six Not players on one. Yep. Mm -mm. Um, a friend who works at the Department of Motor Vehicles gives you a handicapped parking pass so that you can get better parking spaces. You do not have a disability. <laughs> would you use it? I wouldn't use it all the time. Uh, my aunt, my great aunt said, everybody got a disability. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't use That's it all the time. Said. In a pinch, I might. I'm gonna take it, but like I would, I, 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 might, I wouldn't use it no, all the time. No, I wouldn't Because it. even now, like. We rented a car that had a it had a handicap tag, mm -hmm. and I knew it had a handicap tag. I didn't I didn't park in the um, handicap spot because I know some people really need those spots. So mm -hmm. you know it just depends. Now if there's a road like if I had a handicap and like a handicap tag, and there's a row of fifteen handicap spaces, and you know ain't nobody parked there, damn right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh this is I guess random. Men's bathrooms have handicap bathrooms. Have you ever used them? I never that never even crosses my mind when really? I go in, when I go to handicap stop. It's I be like feeling so bad when somebody be out. I don't I don't think about it. Like if I um if I go in a handicap stall, it don't cross my mind. Like I I know it's a handicap stall, but it don't. I mean I think everybody just like being in the big stall. Y'all do. Uh, and then the one at my the one at my past job, they kept sending out. So it's, it was only like probably a few. People in a wheelchair there. It's probably like two women and one man that I could see in the office area that, you know, was handicapped or whatever. But for some reason, I guess every time we were using a handicapped bathroom, that lady be waiting outside. Yeah. Like, oh my God. She be doing that on purpose. She said that they gonna send out an email talking about, <laughs> please stop using the handicapped bathroom if you're not handicapped. She I said, oh my God. As soon as somebody go in there, she probably be waiting to see if they're gonna use the handicapped <laughs> right. stall. She be just trying to uh, monopolize that stuff. I right? just like that stuff. Not all of them are like this, as you can see. I'm a handicapped. Cause what's stall, her handicap? Uh, kind of sore. She in a wheelchair. She's in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, like these people are at, like the people where I work that they were actually like handicapped. They were not like. Oh, I can't walk far. No, they couldn't walk at all. So I would feel bad when I come out the door. She's sitting there in that wheelchair. Like, come on. But I, 
I am a handicapped stall connoisseur, so not all of them have the sink in it, but this particular one did. So I like to use the bathroom, use the sink right there, and just hit the door. <laughs> like, just walk out. And every time Man, you know she's you're sitting right. there, but she, why are you using the bathroom think, this much? See, in that, situ <laughs> in that situation, especially once I ran into uh, more than one time. <laughs> I would have been like, let me just. My co worker friend said she used to do her too. So I'm now believing, like you said, because she there was probably two, do. She there probably was wait. Two. She probably waits until somebody that yes. she knows uses will use that stuff. And she, go she probably wait there. until she sees that. If she sees them go, then she gonna go out like she gotta use the bathroom. And you gotta watch people though. <laughs> Not saying that she don't de like she don't deserve to have a stall, right. but come on, like stop being. A so like you can't just I mean it's still a toilet. I mean at the end of the day it ain't your toilet. And there's two there was two entrances to this bathroom. And like what so about she can see the person coming through the other entrance. Now what if somebody else in the wheelchair cause you just gonna be fighting them <laughs> on the stall. You can't you can't be like I that. used to feel bad, but I just I try not to go to the bathroom when she do. And if I see her, I just wait. But um yeah, they're going to send out an email. Everybody, please stop using it. I'm like, point me out directly because I already know. Right, right. Yeah, let me know. At Call me. my name. <laughs> At me and my co-worker friend because she used to do it too. She would use it. And she was like, I can't remember what the lady name was. But she'd be like, blah, blah, was waiting for me when I came out of the bathroom. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, uh, well, I'm in here now. I can't stop. I'm not going to stop. I would have wore her ass out. I, I could see her I, when I, she wheeled up to the stall. I would have, I would have wore her ass out. I would have, I would have went to the bathroom. I don't know how many times just to see how many times she came in there. I just wanted to have. I like air. I like space. AJ told y'all I'd be busting out the door. I'm, I'm just like, like you, you, you ain't got to use the bathroom that bad. I'm like, why is she? Every time I go, you gotta business. go. Right, that ain't none of my business. But why is you using it so mm. much? Every time Jesus. I go, you gotta go. Every time she gotta go, you gotta go. You just right. playing games. Cut, cut it out. Now, nah, like I said, I mean, yeah, she deserves to be able to use that saw <laughs> whenever she go. But I'm just like, come on now, you troll. Yeah, I was wondering, do y'all men do that? Use the bathroom? I don't even think about it. Cat. I go in that stall in a minute. It never crosses <laughs> my mind, and I'm. But I've never had somebody waiting to use it behind me either. That's something I've never happened. That's never happened. I've I used a handicap star. I've never come out and somebody was waiting in a wheelchair to go in there. Like, also, I, Target has um <laughs> has bathrooms that are meant for people with kids. I also will go in the there. The family bathroom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll go in there and lock the door. <laughs> AJ. Oh, yeah. Come on, go in there and lock the door. I'll be in there. That's them big old box bathrooms. <laughs> be in there in the toilet in the corner. You be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I'm gonna stop. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop. It's too good to me. Mm. It's too good. That's... I like the space. I like the tissue. I like. I like the soap. <laughs> then certain bathrooms have a, a higher level of cleanliness to them yeah. than the other ones. Like I feel like the ones that are not necessarily they might be for a general public, but they they anything a step above uh, the general public bathrooms with all the styles. Those usually are clean better for some reason. So. You're crazy. And when your stomach get the bubbling in that stove and you can't um you can't hold it. Which no, bathroom no, you no. gonna go to? You gonna go to the one you think is cleanest? The one that's the most private. So that yeah. Yeah, I'm in there. And they got a lock on Walmart got a family. Uh I know the Walmart and was one room, they had family bathroom. I go in the there. The one in the back here does. I go <laughs> I go straight there. I don't use a front bathroom anyway. At Walmart. I don't like to use the bathroom at Walmart, period. Let's get that out. Walmart got some nasty bathrooms. They but if I it. have to choose, I'm going to the back. Because the front is overused. It be a smell in there. Right. It's nasty. You, you never think women would be so nasty in the bathroom. God knows pee everywhere. How, what, why do you not know where your private is? I'm just so confused. Pee everywhere. Huh? Pee everywhere. Yes. Pee, boogers. What are you doing? You whole woman out here picking your nose, got pads everywhere, it's sick. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's nasty. You wouldn't think women would be nasty like that. Yes. Pee everywhere like you got uh, <laughs> Yes. Like you pee everywhere. Peeing on the toilet seat, pee on the floor, pee on the side of the bowl. I'm just like, Lord, if I could make it home, I wouldn't even be in here right now. I had to sit here and intercede over the toilet. Jesus, please don't let this be the one. <laughs> let this be the one to eat my cooch up. No, no. <laughs> what are you 
What are you scratching for at the breakfast table? This shit itch. This shit itch. Mm -mm. But, uh. You think I'm scratching on the. <laughs> you need to go. If my hot dog get a little extra seat. Hell, uh, what? Well, don't mind. It's too close to me. <laughs> Yo, no, I wasn't even over that, bro. You right here. No, I wasn't even over. Cut it out. <laughs> I put some flakes in my shit. My scalp is clean. It is. Take us out of here. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Um, <laughs> uh, what am I saying? Uh, Not the beginning. Uh, thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you uh, like this video, subscribe, drop a comment down below, let us know what you think, and remember to share this video out with everybody because sharing is caring. It's care about us, care about us, y'all. We love you. We mean it. We're gonna catch you on the next video. Shout out to the Caribbean. Shout out to you. Bye bye. Peace.